How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. So I've been seeing a lot of comments in my recent 12.02 videos from people asking similar questions about what the best jailbreak options are, depending on what firmware you're on. Should you update to 12.02? Should you update to 12.50 to get the free Lua demos that can be used to load future jailbreaks? What's the best firmware to be on for jailbreaking right now? And so on. So that's what I'm covering here in this video to see where things stand now that this new jailbreak is with us. Okay, so in order to not overcomplicate this, I'm using 9.00 as the minimum firmware. Even though many of these jailbreaks work on lower firmwares than 9.00, they often don't get much support, with the notable exception of 5.05 and 6.72. So if you're still on those firmwares, my advice is to just stick with it as long as you can still access backports to run the latest games, then you're more or less good since most homebrew has legacy support for those firmwares. But for most people, they're on firmwares from 9.00 onwards. So we basically have a jailbreak on 9.00, which is the XFAT hack which allows you to jailbreak using the USB drive. From 9.00 to 11.0, we also have a jailbreak that came out last year called the PP Pwn exploit, which can be triggered using another device that sends uh, network data to the console to jailbreak it. So that can also be used on firmwares from 9.00 all the way up to 11.00, and all firmwares in between can be jailbroken using that method. The new jailbreak that we just got recently actually works from firmwares all the way back to like 5.00 up to 12.02, which means you can jailbreak any firmware using this new lapse exploit, using the new 12.02 jailbreak essentially, on all of those previous firmwares, including 9.00. So if you're on any older firmware, you can pretty much use this jailbreak. You don't have to update to 12.02 to use this new jailbreak with the Lua game that can run the, the jailbreak for you. You don't need to. You can stay on your current firmware. And that's generally advised because, of course, if you're on an older firmware like 11.0, then you, you have access to the PP Pwn exploit and the new 12.02 jailbreak that you can run. So you have more than one option to jailbreak your console. If you're on, for instance, 9.00, then you have the old USB jailbreak that you can use and you've got the old PP Pwn exploit from last year. And you also now have this new 12.02 jailbreak that you can run with the Lua game. Now, another big advantage as well here is that um, you can actually load the new 12.02 jailbreak using the web browser up to 9.60 firmware. So that means that if you're on 9.00 up to 9.60, you can also load the new jailbreak now using uh, the web browser on those firmwares too. There are some bugs at the moment with that particular method. Right now, you can get black screen issues with certain games when loading it from the web browser, and you can also run into some save data corruption issues as well. But those issues are likely to get fixed in time, and then you'll be able to kind of rely on that method to jailbreak your console up to 9.60. The general advice is to stay on as low a firmware as possible, and you can see why, right? If you're on 9.00, you have access to, again, the you know USB XFAT hack jailbreak. You have access to the PP Pwn exploit through the network connection. You also have access to the new 12.02 jailbreak that you can run on 9.00, and you can load it from the Lua games, and you can also load it from the web browser. So you have like four different ways that you can jailbreak your console if you're on 9.00. No real reason why you would want to update to 12.02 to lose three of those methods and only being able to jailbreak using one method. If we go up to 9.60, you know, all the way up to 9.60, you can jailbreak again using the new 12.02 jailbreak from the web browser and from the Lua game if you wanted to. So that's two options there. And then also you still have access to the PP Pwn exploit from last year through the network connection that you can also use. So that's three different ways essentially that you can jailbreak your console up to 9.60. Once you go past 9.60 to firmwares up to 11.0, then you can no longer run the new 12.02 jailbreak from the web browser because it was patched after 9.60, but you can still load it from, of course, the Lua games, the Japanese games that can be used to load it. You can still load the jailbreak that way. And of course, you can also load the PP Pwn exploit from last year from the network connection. That is another option as well. So you have kind of two ways that you can jailbreak up to 11.0. And again, this is up to this firmware, so that includes previous firmwares as well, not just 11.0, but up to 11.0. And then after that point, you then get to firmwares above 11.0, like 11.02, all the way up to 12.02. So that encompasses 11.50, 11.52 as well, 11.02. 
those firmwares. So firmwares above 11.00 can no longer access the PP Pwn exploit. So you only then have one option to jailbreak your console, which right now is to currently use the new 12.02 jailbreak, but with the lapse exploit and use the Lua games, the Japanese games to load them. And that is pretty much the only way to jailbreak right now until maybe a future WebKit exploit comes out uh, that works up to these higher firmwares that we can then use to load it from the web browser. But that's not available at the time of recording this video. It's not available yet. We have to use the uh, Japanese games to load them right now. So that is the general idea. And just by looking at this, you can clearly see why the general advice is always to stay on as low a firmware as possible. Because the lower firmwares we go here, the more jailbreaks, the more vulnerabilities are available to you. Especially since this new jailbreak can run on all of these older firmwares too. So if you're on 9.00, you can use the new jailbreak that just came out on 9.00. You don't have to update. But you also have access to all the old jailbreaks too. Whereas if you update to 12.02, you only have access to the new jailbreak that came out and none of the previous ones. So that is why the general advice here is always to stay on as low a firmware as you possibly can. Now, if you're already on the latest firmware where you're not able to take advantage of any of these previous jailbreaks, then yes, you can prepare for future jailbreaks by getting the free demo versions of these Japanese games so that you will not have to buy a physical copy when a new jailbreak comes out. And then you can use the Lua Loader with those free demo versions of those games to load any future jailbreaks that come out for the PS4. But you should not update from an older firmware, obviously to 12.50 to get those free uh, demo games because you're already on a jailbreakable firmware if you're on a firmware lower than 12.50 because any firmware lower than 12.50 is already jailbreakable. You just don't have a way to load it right now if you don't have one of those Japanese games. But what you can do is just either wait for a web browser version of the exploit to come out in the future, which will likely end up happening eventually. Or you can simply wait for you know, some of these Japanese games to go back in stock or for more games to be added to be supported so that you can load other games to trigger the jailbreak and maybe some game in the future will come out that's available in other markets, not just Japan, so that you'll be able to access it more easily. That's much more likely than a new jailbreak coming out right around the corner. But obviously we can't tell for sure until something like that actually happens. So generally it's just better to wait on as low a firmware as possible so that you can take advantage of more vulnerabilities and you're more likely able to jailbreak your console. So staying on the lowest firmware possible, that is the best policy. And that has been the advice since forever, pretty much with the PlayStation 4. So yeah, that is the general advice there. So a few other things just to mention here. So Gold 10 itself is only available up to 11.0 right now. It should be getting ported to 12.02. So hopefully it will be out soon. In the meantime, again, you can use the Hen VTX, which is like this open source version of Hen which gives you the basic features. It's also getting a few updates like FTP being added to it and, you know, plugin functionality. But generally, Gold Hen has a lot more features. So once it gets ported over, you can use Gold Hen. But in the meantime, you can use Hen VTX, these kind of open source versions of the Homebrew enabler, and they will allow you to get set up to be able to run your Homebrew applications and your fake packages, you know, getting your PS4 game backups and stuff running. You can do so right now with Hen VTX on firmwares 11.02 up to 12.02, which again includes all firmwares in between. And then once Gold 10 gets ported, you can then switch over to use that instead. So yeah, that is the general advice there. So hopefully that makes it pretty clear here. The general idea is stay on as low a firmware as possible. If, you're, if you have previous jailbreaks, you can stick with those jailbreaks. You can use the new 12.02 jailbreak without updating to 12.02. Just use it on your current firmware that you're already on. You don't need to update to use it. Especially if you're on a firmware up to 9.60, you can also load it through the web browser version, uh, which I have covered on the channel in several uh, news updates that you can check out. So yeah, basically there are ways that you can load it on the current jailbreaks and you can load it on the new firmwares that did not have support before. And that's what my 12.02 guides are mainly meant for, is the people who did not have access to the previous jailbreaks and are on firmwares 11.02 up to 12.02 you can check out those videos to jailbreak your PS4 using this new jailbreak that just came out. So yeah, that is the general idea right there, guys. Stay on as low a firmware as possible. Enjoy your existing jailbreaks. Use the new jailbreak on your existing firmwares if you can. Wait for Gold 10 to come out if you're waiting up to 12.02. As for running newer games, obviously fake package games get backported to older firmwares, so you can always 
usually run the latest games on the older firmware, so that's no longer really a reason to update to 12.02 to run newer games, because you can run those newer games anyway on the older firmwares through backports. So anyway, that's going to pretty much do it for me for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.